Hello and welcome to another IC3D tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing a little bit about the carton fold up tool as we fold up a box together. Step one, we're going to have to go into our carton fold up tool and either double click to open or drag it onto the scene. Once inside your carton template, you're going to want to import your die line. Any of these file formats are acceptable, uh, CF2, PDF, DXF, or an AI file. I'm going to be using an AI file, and it can include your artwork and your die line, but it must have separate layers. I'm going to hit open, and just going to hide our artwork layer and leave our die line layer checked. Hitting OK will bring it into the scene. Inside of our cart and fold up tool, we're going to have an editor window on the left where we assign our folds and grab and change anything that we may need. And on our right is going to be what the 3D box will look like once we're done. So step one, we're going to want to split our lines. What split lines is doing is allowing IC3D to let you assign folds and cuts, and it will actually show you any advisory warnings or critical errors that may be inside of your die line. So the first thing we see here is an advisory only, and it says that this only seems to be connected at one end, meaning one of our ends doesn't seem to be connected to our die line. So let's go ahead and use our zoom selection tool just to zoom in at one of the ends. And yep, there it is. Looks like we're disconnected from uh, this point here. Very easy fix. Instead of going to our select point, we're going to be going to our edit and move points mode. That option here right next to there is able to select two points together. And if you hold the S key, you can grab and move both points to a snapped point, allowing us to quickly seal up that hole and of course, since we've made a change to our die line, we just want to hit split lines once more and just to make sure that our advisory warning is gone. The next thing we want to do is assign our folds or our cuts. Everything right now, the light blue lines are outer cut lines, while the green are going to be cuts. So right now we have everything signed to cut. We're going to want to go in and just grab a fold and go up to our fold selection. We've got a normal fold, which is what we're going to be using today, a crush fold, and this is for larger substrates, and a linked fold. These are for folds that have a uh, cut in between the two folds, so say like a cut window or like a small tab. Now, for today, we're going to be just using the normal basic folds, and you can either assign these all at once or individually. So hold the shift key and that will allow me to select multiple lines and assign them all as folds. From here, we can go ahead and choose whether or not we have a proper substrate. I'm going to be sticking with our E flute white, but don't be afraid to change or add a new substrate using our substrate editor. Once ready, just go ahead and hit generate and that should give you a fresh piece of cardboard right off the press. Now it is, of course, our job as the operator to fold this guy up. So to fold, we just simply grab one of the folds, and our option up here for fold angle should unlock, and you can just hit 90 degrees, or if you're unsure of how the fold should fold, you can use your scroll wheel, or you can try out a number of different folds just to align everything properly. In this case, I do know that everything should be a 90 degree fold. So I'm going to go through, grab all my folds and go ahead and assign them as 90 degrees. And before we add this to the scene, we're going to want to select a face that will act as our front face. So whenever we add it to the scene, this face will be facing us, the camera. I'm going to assign this face here as our front by clicking it and hitting the Select Front Face option. Excellent. Then from here, what we want to do before we add this to the scene is we want to save this out. And this will allow us to save it as a .ctd file. Allowing us to load in any old CTD that we've previously created so we don't ever have to fold the same box twice. Now from here, I'm going to go ahead and add that to the scene. 
If you have your carton options open, you can actually hold the control key and select a certain face and unfold it or refold it in the carton options window. This is also great for animation. Now from here, instead of Illustrator, I'm going to be using our PDF editor. And if you do have the full suite of IC3D, you can utilize the PDF editor by going up into Edit, Switch Renderer, IC3D, PDF Editor. Then from here, we're going to go ahead and select the PDF option. And that should open up our carton die line, front and back. And we're just going to open up the file. That's going to be just the vodka shipper for me. And I can hit open, and that should be uh, aligned properly already. And if it isn't, you can grab it and drag it around or use the X and Y options to change it about. Now, of course, the PDF editor is strictly for just placing artwork. You can change the RGB profile or the CMYK profile, but we cannot edit the artwork. Now, what we can do is we can mirror the output on or off. This just flips the image or we can actually use an overprint preview and we can turn that on or off. So this is one benefit of using the PDF editor is you do control the overprint. Now from here, I'm gonna hit update IC3D. And once that's done, I'm gonna head back and hit close and we should see our artwork on our box. Perfect. Now our orientation is a little off, so let's go ahead and just grab our rotation, head to our transform, and just spin that around. That's looking much better. And then from here, let's just make sure that any of our folds well, aren't Z fighting like this. So sometimes with die lines, the folds will exist on the same plane. So that's called Z fighting. And what these two folds are doing is they're fighting for visibility. Uh, we just need to uh, make one fold slightly under the other by just holding control. And I like to select the smaller of the two folds and then go into your, again, carton options window. Should be marked with a little uh, check there, little marker. And then we can just literally increase this by just one degree up. So that's 91, and that should eliminate that issue. Excellent. And like that, we now have a nice looking carton box ready for any type of render or any bottles that we may want to put in here. Well, thank you so much for joining me, Adam Chop, on this small IC3D quick bite, and I hope you enjoyed and learned a little bit more about the Carton Fold-Up tool. Stay tuned for our videos, and of course, like and subscribe our channel for more content.